Okay, it's a cold and blustery day here and uh, so I'm having to juggle my phone to get uh, into position to give you the next chapter in security management. Um, at which point we need to talk about uh, organizational roles and uh, structures. Um, well, we tend to say security is everybody's business. And unfortunately, uh, as we all know, everybody's business is nobody's business. And so if we stress too strongly this idea that security is everybody's business, and security is everybody's business, everyone in the organization should have security awareness training, should be aware of some level of responsibility for security, uh, for all the things that we ask them to do, the choice of appropriate strong passwords and you know the definition of what is a strong password and and a strong password for what is it that they, we're asking them to to have passwords for you know we we don't want to have people generating impossible to remember passwords for their own personal computer on a desktop that is locked in the office anyways when they're not there. Um, you know, there, there are reasons and rationales for the things that we ask people to do and they ask things that we ask people to take responsibility for. So we need to cover that. We need to be, make people aware of some level of responsibility, appropriate to their position, appropriate to what we are asking them to do, uh, to the uh, privileges that we are giving them, and, and so on and so forth. Um, so, um, well, okay, you know, back to the thing, you know, se security is everybody's business, and that is true, but um, we need to appropriately identify the roles for them and their specific responsibilities in a given area and that is uh, the area of security awareness training I mean you know um, we uh, I believe that we may uh, cover um, uh, education uh, security education and the, the different levels of security education uh, at some point, um, we've got security awareness, which is for everybody, making everybody aware of the need for security and their particular need for security and the things that we are asking them to do and the reasons that we are asking them to do these things, to take these steps, to obey these controls. Uh, so that's the, the awareness level. There is going to be specific training, of course, for people uh, that we hold responsible for particular systems or tools. And of course, we're going to give them training, specific training in those tools and those uh, security controls and safeguards that they are responsible in regard to those systems. Um, so there's that. And then there's uh, uh, general education in security. And, you know, hopefully this... Uh, seminar is fitting into that category and indeed um, I have uh, uh, said that you can use the uh, the basis of this course the common body of knowledge for um, not just a single university course in information security but in fact an entire program possibly a two-year or even four-year degree program structured on the basis of the content of the domains and the common body of knowledge behind them. So that's, you know, a, a higher level. And then uh, we are not only responsible for our education 
in this regard, but in a sense for uh, senior management, for example. They need to have the more educational level, more than mere awareness and beyond the specific training for given tools. So, you know, different uh, levels of uh, responsibility and different levels of awareness, training, and even management. Um, and again, security management is important and uh, the, the risk assessments, um, you know, all of this goes into those, those types of things. Now, ultimately, of course, uh, senior management is responsible for everything. And so ultimately, senior management is responsible for information security. We, even though we are the security professionals, are not. We um, do not have that level of responsibility. And for example, um, I uh, remember one contract that I had uh, doing some, uh, actually management consulting, in this particular case, identifying uh, the problem that this company was was having um, that they had asked me to look into. And I, I identified the problem, explained it to them, and uh, they said, okay, you're right, but we like it this way. Okay, end of contract. Because I, it's not my responsibility to change the company. It's their responsibility to manage the company. It's their responsibility to decide how they are going to structure the company, what they are going to do, um, uh, how they are going to operate. Um, you know, that's, that's their job. That's not my job. My job is to advise. And I advised properly. I identified the problem. They realized what I was saying and made the decision that they did not want to change. And six months later, they had to sell out to a competitor. But, you know, that's their choice. That's not my job. Um, so again, uh, senior management has that responsibility. We have the, the responsibility to advise. Um, uh, line employees have specific responsibilities with regard to the tasks we're asking them to perform. Okay, um, when we go through security management, um, we have already talked about the, uh, uh, the different levels as we go through history, uh, the uh, computer security, originally the physical security, data security, learning that data itself is important, and of course it's increasingly important. Uh, and we now have information security uh, that, uh, uh, in reflection of the realization that it's not the computers that are important, it is in fact the information that is held on the computer. That's uh, really the company. Your, your enterprise has to do with uh, the information. And if you, you know, if you lose all the computers, that's okay. You got backups, you, you install them on new computers that you can buy. That, not a problem. Um, but uh, uh, losing that information, your your company is gone. Um, then, uh, oh, we started talking about information system security because, of course, our systems are getting increasingly complex. And these days, uh, we're starting to talk about cybersecurity. And I, I must admit, those of us who are part of the old guard are kind of sick of this change of name all the time without uh, a real definition of, of what it is. But... Uh, you know, the, the sort of broad scope of security with regard to information, computers, and uh, all that now tends to be called cybersecurity. There is not any particular reason to try and uh, fight against that.